Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome back. For today's video, I thought I'd share with you guys some of my tips for becoming a morning person. So I know you guys are heading back to school and you dread waking up early in the morning and you're usually really grumpy and upset that you have to go to school. So I hope you guys can find some of these tips helpful. These are some of the things I've been doing that has definitely helped me. So if you guys enjoy my Simply Inspired series and you guys wanna see more how-tos or tips and guide videos, then definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below if you're new here, and now let's go ahead and get into the video. That's why we get high. So the first tip I have is to evaluate your general mood uh, throughout the week. So if you've been really grumpy, you're really upset, and you can't take life anymore, um, you're definitely going to have to change something. There's something going on. So that's a good way to see what can you change um, about your life or your daily routine to improve your lifestyle and your overall mood. And my second tip, something that has made a huge difference in my life. This is something that helped improve my mood, my overall mental clarity and that is meditation Buddhist traditions use meditation to relax and to restore health a few years ago when I used to take singing lessons I actually learned about the importance of breath you know and breathing and I learned that a lot of us are actually breathing wrong and because of that we don't get to experience life to the fullest and when you learn to breathe properly you're bringing in oxygen into your lungs, into your body. So even if you don't have five to 10 minutes to meditate in the morning, at least take a few deep breaths and you will see for yourself because it does make a huge difference in your overall happiness. Then what, man? What? What? And my next tip would be to listen to something in the morning. So in the mornings, I like to implement things that just really bring me happiness, joy, and value. So another thing I'd recommend is listening to a podcast, listening to an audiobook. You can do this on your way to school, you can do this on your way to work, because our mind is so impressionable in the morning and what you feed your mind in the morning is so important. Because a lot of times we get into this reactive mode, so we're constantly thinking about the past or an issue we had yesterday. Um, so this is good to just bring your mind back, depending on whatever you're listening to on the podcast, That's completely different and you just start to you know think about that and get into those different topics could either you know make you feel gratitude or make you feel more confident like whatever that is there's so many good things we can take from a podcast and this next tip would be to journal. So if you're the person who wakes up earlier and you have a little bit more time in the morning, just grab a journal and write what you're feeling, express yourself and your emotions. And it's all about implementing these positive habits because a lot of times it can turn into gratitude. You can write down what you're grateful for or you can talk about it. You can talk about it uh, to a friend. Talk about what you're grateful for. Talk about all of the good things that are happening you know in your life a lot of times we naturally tend to focus on the negative and our minds tend to amplify that so that's never good focus on the positive and you're gonna have a much better result that way and this next tip is crucial I can't believe that I just discovered this in my life and that is positive affirmations like what this is amazing. I highly recommend you guys to try this. You can look up on YouTube positive affirmations for wealth, for confidence, whatever it is. You know, if you're feeling down, definitely remember to go on and just listen to positive affirmations or better yet, repeat them. I don't know about you guys, but I believe in the law of attraction. So whatever you think, you know, in your head becomes images you know so whatever you're thinking about and imagining in your head it really creates your reality a lot of times when we are focused on our own lives we forget to you know see the bigger picture and experience life as i was saying so you get to hear certain things like i am happy life doesn't work against me life works for me like i said sometimes they become so natural to us to have these negative thoughts that we forget how toxic it actually is to our mental health. So when you start saying these things, repeating these things and planting the seed in your own mind, you you, you grow into it. I've been doing this for less than a month and I've already seen a huge improvement and I feel so great. And that's the thing, we have the power to make ourselves feel amazing. 
and actually experience life that way. We shouldn't rely on the outside world, you know, to make us feel happy. We can do that for ourselves by practicing positivity. Yeah, so that is it for today's video. So those are my tips. I hope you guys can get something out of this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you guys are gonna be following these tips and it, what do you think about them? Like, have you ever done this before? Like, have you ever done positive affirmations? You know, have you been meditating? Like, whatever you're doing right now, just let me know down in the comments. And if you have other recommendations, for me so just let me know down in the comments so we can chat together and of course if you guys found this video helpful don't forget to share it with a friend share these tips with them and also make sure to subscribe down below for more videos like this and I should see you guys in my next video Mwah! <laughs>